breaking news, another wild day for stocks. It was the worst week overall for the Dow since President Trump took office. With me, Robert Reich, former U.S. Labor Secretary for President Bill Clinton and the author of the new book coming out called The Common Good. Tax cuts and, and also spending, additional spending, that $300 billion, that's fine when the economy has a lot of room to grow. I mean, when, you're, when your house is cold, you want to put some logs on the fire. But when you don't have, when unemployment is down to 4.1 percent, very, very low, uh, when the economy is doing very, very well, you don't want to put more logs on the fire because you could burn the house down. How is it that light bulb like flashes of inspiration seem to have touched only a handful of people down through the centuries? Our cover story is reported by Mo Rocca. Jennifer Doudna grew up to become a biochemist at the University of California at Berkeley. Doudna co discovered a technique for editing genes known as CRISPR. With CRISPR, terrible diseases might one day be eradicated. I love building teams and putting groups together that I think collectively do work that's better than any of us would do individually. Nearly two-thirds of Americans do not get a full eight hours of sleep. Did you hear that? Now, one researcher is sounding the alarm about what he calls a silent sleep loss epidemic. He is scientist Matthew Walker. He's devoted more than 20 years to studying sleep and its impact on health and disease, so he knows what he's talking about. He teaches neuroscience and psychology at the University of California, Berkeley. I think it's fast becoming one of the greatest public health challenges that we now Why? face. Every disease that is killing us in developed nations, from cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, stroke, even suicide, they all have significant and causal links to insufficient sleep. New at six, it's one of the biggest fossil discoveries and it's right here in the Bay Area. These fossils are helping researchers piece together a picture of what the Bay Area looked like millions of years ago. We are warming up, our sea level is rising and we can see what the animals were doing back then, what was going on in the ocean and we can maybe use that to figure out a way to deal with the upcoming change. Technology straight out of Star Wars is going from science fiction to fact at UC Berkeley. Researchers there say holograms projected into our brains could one day help the blind see and the paralyzed feel. These researchers here at UC Berkeley is a Desnick lab are the brains behind, well, your brain. They're activating and suppressing specific neurons with light by placing laser 3D holograms into the brain. They can create a real sensation or experience of something you've actually never had. You close your eyes and, and what you want is to be able to wake up and fly a helicopter. Uh, we're a long way off from that, but, but in principle, um, this is the type of technology you know, if, if that ever happens, uh, I, I think it'll be based on some form of this technology. KPIX 5 News. Tiny backyard cabin could be a big step toward easing the Bay Area's affordable housing crunch. You're looking at thousands of 3D printed tiles here in this Oakland backyard. The urban cabin was the idea of UC Berkeley Associate Professor of Architecture Ronald Rayel and the San Jose State Associate Professor of Design Virginia Sanfratello. One tile takes just six minutes to make. What's so exciting about 3D printing for us is that we can design something and we can make it almost instantly. Live where you live, this is ABC 7 News. In two weeks time, students from the Haas School of Business will gather at the Greek theater to receive their diplomas. Yeah, among those graduating, identical twins from Visalia, Cameron and Tyler Haberman, the first in their family to graduate from college. They were born in Visalia and educated at the Haas School of Business at Cal. If someone accidentally calls someone the wrong one, we might play into it for a few minutes until they like catch on. Cameron on the right is older by one minute. They do almost everything together. They've had many of the same classes and now both have been hired at Apple. I've always had someone that I can rely on. I can always lean on Tyler when things get tough. They credit their parents for putting their education above all things. The fact we got here means a, a whole lot. It was like we didn't just take a step up, we took a leap forward. Sometimes success comes in pairs. At UC Berkeley, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.